pulling into this uh, drive through window and uh, it is important to know that how many cars arrive on an average at this uh, drive through window and also what will be the time in between the arrivals of two cars okay so here is a car moving now the person took the order see i'm waiting for this car to turn and then uh, the person has to take my order right now there is no car behind me but there are many in front so hello Uh, yes, could you give me a chicken quesadilla without chicken, please? Okay. Yeah, and, and that will be it. But no chicken in there, please. Yeah, right. Just put only cheese. Just cheese, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Okay, so as I said, there is a, uh, there is a car just pulling in behind me, and there is one in front of me, as uh, you can see. Okay, so by the time the guy was done taking my order, he has to take an another order. So we are going to discuss this through an example that I'm making up. For the example or for the question that you asked from the book. Assume that the number of cars that arrive at a certain drive through window follow a Poisson distribution with a mean of 8 cars during any 10 minute interval and that the number of cars during any non overlapping interval of 10 minutes are independent of each other during the peak hours so you know that's what a Poisson distribution will be and say we want to find the probability that there will be no car during a five minute period so first what we have to do we have to find the mean for a five minute period so 8 over 10 is the average number of cars during one minute multiply it by five so it would be four minutes okay and now look at the Poisson probability uh, density function. So we have 4 to the 0 e to the negative 4 over factorial of 0. Both these guys are 1. So what will happen? This will be approximately 0 0.018316. Okay, yeah, let me write it down for you. So the answer is approximately 0 0.018316. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake uh, last time, so it should be 08316, or uh, if you are using your uh, calculator, okay, so let's use the calculator here, so what we shall do here is, uh, first turn it on, then go to second distribution, and uh, we want to do what? Poisson PDF, and uh, what we got? the mean is uh, 4 and the number of uh, occurrences we want is 0 so the value is 0 0.0831 etc etc depends on the setting all right now the time in between occurrences that is the time between two cars should follow an exponential distribution with a mean of 8 10, 10 over 8 that is 1.25 minutes between any two cars. So say a car has just arrived and we would like to compute the probability that the next car will arrive within two minutes. Okay, so here is our graph. So which uh, area do we want here? 202, okay, and instead of T we got 2 here, alright. So we want to obtain this area, okay? So what we want here is to compute the following area. So this area under the density curve should give us the probability that uh, 
the next car will arrive within two minutes now remember the cumulative density function for, for a Poisson distribution is uh, given by this rule right okay so in here all we have to do is substitute 2 in for t or if I am using my calculator what I can do is uh, that just look at 1 minus just go to second exponential then negative 2 over 1.25 you will have the same answer for probability alright so let's see we will uh, take this up tomorrow or any other questions and I'm coming in tomorrow remember alright so see you guys later thanks bye